Okay, we're on percent concept on the last page of the chapter two handout. Percent concept uses the equation part over whole times 100 equals percent. You're probably more familiar with is over of equals percent over 100. You don't really see that equation very much in chemistry. Um, we're going to do four practice problems and we're going to take a look at your homework assignment. So student exercise number 21. It says sterling silver contains silver and copper. So sterling silver, if it contains silver and copper, the sterling silver is my whole. And either the silver or the copper are going to be my part. Okay, if a sterling silver chain contains 18.5 grams of silver and 1.5 gram of copper, what's the percent of silver in the chain? So I should rewrite this equation to fit my problem. So if I'm solving for the percent of silver, does everybody know that the symbol for silver is AG? Well, you do now. Okay. Okay. So my whole is what? Sterling silver chain. Okay. So the sterling silver chain is my whole. What is my part if I'm solving for a percent of silver? This must be mass of silver okay whatever percent you're solving for whatever that substance is that is going to be here as your mass does that make sense okay so what is the mass of silver on the problem 18.5 grams. So 18.5 grams and then over the mass of the chain. How would I get the mass of the chain? Yeah. You add. So it's going to be 18.5 plus 1.5 and that's how you get the mass of your chain. Now let's just for the sake of significant figures add that just to make sure that we're going to have the right number of significant figures in our final answer. 18.5 plus 1.5 is 19.7. That's three sig figs. Isn't that three sig figs? Okay. And then we're going to multiply by 100, and that's going to give you your percent of silver. Now, remember, the 100 is a part of the equation before you put your numbers into it. So doesn't that mean it's exact? So how many sig figs does it have? Infinite. Okay, so it will not affect the sig figs in my final answer. Yes? How did you get 19.7? I don't know. I put it wrong in my calculator. I did. I did. Thank you. All right, that's 20.0. Agreed? 20.0? Yes. Three sig figs. Thanks. Okay, so three sig figs, three sig figs, infinite. I want how many sig figs in my answer? Three. So we're going to divide that out, multiply by 100. I got 92.5% silver. Make sense? Okay. Okay. Let's go on and do another one. Let's do student exercise number 22. Okay. A gold alloy contains 20% silver and 5% copper. What's the symbol for copper? Cu. Okay. What is the percent of gold in the alloy? What's the symbol for gold? Au. Okay. If we have silver, copper, and gold in a gold alloy, it's a mixture of those three metals, those percentages should add up to 100. Okay. So all of these should add up to 100%. So what do you think the percentage of gold will be? 75, because 20 and 5 is 25%. So if you subtract 25% from 100, you're going to get 75% gold, and that's your answer, right? Okay, let's go on and take a look at student exercise 23. The moon and earth have a similar composition. Each contains 4.70% iron, which supports the theory that the moon and earth were originally a single planet. What is the mass of iron in a lunar sample that weighs 235 grams? So if they gave me the percent of iron, then 
then what should be here as my part? The mass of what? If that's percent iron, this would be mass of what? Iron is in what? Read the problem. Iron is in what sample? The lunar sample. So the mass of the lunar sample, that's my whole. Whatever percent this is, it's going to be the mass of that substance here on the top. So this is the mass of iron. Okay, times 100, so I have room for my 100 there, okay? All right, so we're solving for the mass of iron. So that's going to be X over, what's the mass of the lunar sample? 235 grams times 100 equals 4.70%. Okay, so does that setup make sense? Yeah. All right, to get rid of the 100, you need to take this decimal and move it to the left two places. Then you're going to get X over 235 equals 0 .0470. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, if you want to, you could just put this over 1 and you can cross multiply. Okay. What is X times 1? x, 1x, or just x. What's 235 times 0 0.0470? 11.045. How many sig figs do I want in my answer? Three. Three. So we're going to underline the 11.0. If that's a 4, does that 0 round up? No. So it's 11.0 grams. You are done. That is the mass of iron. Okay. Questions on that problem? <coughs> Let's do one more. Okay. Student exercise 24. A moon sample is found to contain 7.50% aluminum. What is the mass of the lunar sample if the amount of aluminum is 5.25 grams? Okay. So we should probably rewrite our equation first, so we know what we're doing. We've got percent aluminum over here. What's the symbol for aluminum? AL. Good job. I'm going to erase that and just write AL. Okay. What goes up on top here? Mass of what? Mass of aluminum. Okay. What goes on the bottom? Mass of a lunar sample. Okay, the mass of aluminum is 5.25 grams over X, because we don't know what it is, times 100 equals 7.50%. What should I do first? Yeah. Yes, move this over two places to get rid of the 100. So 5.25 over X equals 0 .0750 over 1. Okay? And then we're going to cross multiply. 5.25 times 1 is 5.25. That equals X times 0 0.0750. If I want to solve for X, you should divide both sides by 0 0.0750. How many significant figures do we want in our answer? Three. You're going to get 70. If I want to make that three significant figures, what should I do? 0, 0.0, good job. 70.0, and this is grams. You're done. Yeah? Let's look at the worksheet for homework. The worksheet is called Percent Concepts. You have six problems. You are using 
the equation that we use here for each one, right? This part over whole times 100, okay? Um, you've got a few minutes to work on this, and then I will be here today after school if you would like some help.